rabbit. Okay, so um, in the recent past, rabbit has been thinking about how how do I want to live now? How do I want to be? How do I want to how do I want to change my living circumstances so that they uh, they better suit me and what it is that I want to achieve from here on out? What, one of the things that that has made you do is really question some of the friendship that, friendships that you have, and you've decided that those people that make you uh, drain your energy, you want to distance yourself from them. And you've begun to do that already. So that's why we have this card here of the, the Five of Swords. The I win, you lose, or you know, uh, uh, win-lose situations. You're sick and tired of them and those types of people. So you're distancing yourself from those types of people. Um, it was, what's working against you is you didn't realize just how many of them there were in your life. So you might be feeling a bit isolated, thinking, gosh, if I stand my ground too much, if I do too many of my boundaries, if I have too many boundaries, I might lose everybody in my life. Well, it's a good thing to do because when you do that, you really see who your true friends are. So you do that. And then you find that your way of life that you've had for quite a while begins to shift. It's not easy at the start, right? Um, but it gets easier. As you speak your truth, you find that there's more tension with people. But maybe it's necessary. Maybe it's time for you to stop caring what people think and living your life for yourself. Hence why we've got the full card there, you see? Off an adventure, I'm a new reborn baby child out to see the world and see what I'm going to bring into my life now that I'm living really for myself and living for joy. What are those things that bring me joy? I'm not going to live for approval anymore. What's the point of that? Anybody got time for that? Right. Second half of the year, we've got the King of Cups. You're making emotionally wise decisions. Um, and then after that, we've got the Star card. So the Star card being... There's a, a side, there's a quietness at the moment. Everything is quiet. You're in darkness and things are, are gestating. Things are moving. Things are happening. But you can't see them yet. You're changing. But you haven't shown that yet. In some, in some ways you have already because obviously you'll begin to shed people. But in, in the real you is emerging. Let's put it that way. There are two cards that are about make a wish the wish can come true. This card and this card. And they've come right next door to each other. So it's a powerful, powerful... Towards the end of this year will be a powerful time of, of, of manif time of manifestation for you, right? So really, there's, there's sort of from, from November, December, January time, so November, December 2024 into January 2025 is a, t a powerful time of manifestation for you, okay? And the overall outcome card for this year is the Sun card, one of the best cards in the pack. So this is so good. It really does mean that you're evolving into the version of you that you were meant to be from the start. And all of the afflictions fall away, leaving the beautiful you. Let's have a look at this, um, this year, month by month. So February in 2024, for the rabbit, we've got the moon card. So the, uh, and, and, and the, it is the moon that rules the rabbit sign as well. So this is kind of your card. The moon card says there's a journey needs to be taken and there may be some obstacles in the way and it's dark. So you've just got to take the next step in faith and the next step in faith and eventually you'll get to your destination. Um, but just take it bit by bit, piecemeal. Don't rush, don't do too much. March, we've got this card of restriction. It, there's a perceived restriction because it's not, it's not entirely real. If you have a look, the uh, eyes are blindfolded, the arms are, uh, are tied, but actually the feet are free. So it's perceived restriction. There is still movement available to you. So it's about looking, looking outside the box and seeing what you have what you can do, what your circle of control is, what your circle of influence is, and don't try to do anything outside of that. We don't try to control anything you can't control. So stop stressing out about it, just do what you can. Then after, after March, we've got uh, April, and that's the Nine of Wands. So this is a card of standing up for your rights. Getting a little paranoid sometimes about what, what's happening around you, your wall goes up, and you're like, I, I don't know if I'm comfortable here anymore. I don't know if I, I trust these people. I don't know what's happening behind my back. So you begin to overthink things. Sometimes you're justified, sometimes you're not. But you are where you are. So if you just stay authentic to who you are and say what you think, let, the, let what happens, happens. Let's, let what happens, happen. Right. May, we've got the Two of Swords. So you've come to a fork in the road. You must choose which direction to go. So you have two options available to you. This one or this one. Which one do you choose? 
you're in a bit of a dilemma because you don't know. So you're just going to have to let your intuition guide you. What else can you do? June, we have the King of Pentacles. This is a very good omen for money. It's a very good omen for general good living because his life works on many, many different levels. Uh, he's, the, he's the high point, he's the highest evolution of the Pentacle suit, which means he understands how to make money. He understands when to move quickly, when to move slowly. Uh, my eyes were just drawn to the bull there, the Taurian bull, um, which says, I can run fast or I can take it slow. So that's why I mentioned the pace. And changing those paces is, can sometimes be necessary because you don't, you, you don't want to be inappropriate with your, how can I put it? Like, sometimes certain situations, certain circumstances require a certain pace or a certain way or a manner, behavior, personality. And it's not to say that you're being fake. All those, pers all those uh, traits are already in you. You just have to bring out the right ones at the right time. That, that's not a bad way of explaining it. July, we've got the Empress. So patron of creativity, the uh, pregnant mother as well. She is just full of life, full of fun, uh, full of abundance. Sometimes she comes up if somebody's looking to start a family or have another child. They already have a family. And sometimes she comes up if a project is about to begin that could take about nine months before you really get yourself moving. So uh, either way, she's a, um, she's a positive omen for so many things. August, we've got the King of Wands. So the King of Wands makes positive business decisions, uh, wise decisions, wise, um, um, I suppose, uh, wise choices when it comes to um, all aspects of your life. This, this guy's lived a good, li good long life and he's been through lots of different things and he's able to give you wise, wise he gives you answers in a way that he, he'll question you and he'll get you to figure things out for yourself. Almost like a counsellor, but he's more like a business psychologist, a business counsellor, rather than an emotional counsellor. That would be the uh, Queen of Cups. Um, right, then we move on to, where were we? July, August, so this is September. The death card is September for you. So that means that that which no longer serves you falls away and you open up to the things that do serve you. Just in the same way that previously you were getting rid of parasites, you're just gonna take, head, look, lean in towards the sun and stay away from the darkness. October could be more of a solitary time for you where you go inward to get your guidance. Uh, it could be a time where you're doing lots of manifestational work. You're doing the affirmations, visualizations, making lists of things that you want to achieve a, it's a positive time, but you may find that you're not around too many people at this time either because habit card. November, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is the card of mastery, but also the card of rebuilding. So if you feel like an aspect of your life is no longer working or broken or damaged, it's about picking up those pieces that you can and putting it back together, recognizing that it will never quite be the same, but it's not supposed to be. It wouldn't have broken for a reason. So it wouldn't have broken without reason. So. Therefore, you've got to understand that reason and how much you can piece back together. But also, there was, there's a wariness that wasn't there before. December, we've got the Sun card, one of the best cards in the pack. So this is really, really positive. For you, this card is, it seems like this, this card is relevant for the entire year for you. Um, so this is, it's just one of the best cards in the pack. You know, joy, fun, play, freedom. Your inner child has everything that it wants. Um, but I think it's a case of you bringing it to to yourself because it's 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 not coming it's not coming from anybody else. It's because you've made the space for it. And January 2025, we've got the the four of wands, which is the home card. I've made my space for myself. I've made my home. I made my environment perfect so it suits me, and it moves me forwards, uh, upwards, and onwards. So it looks like it's going to be a really really good year for you. 2024, year of the dragon. This is for the rabbit. Okay, uh, so just a reminder, you can find me at www.zachariahdeal.com. Uh, you can also go to my website and go to the readings page if you, if you want to book a reading with me. The, uh, all the information is there. My telephone number is there, my WhatsApp number. My uh, email is also there, zachariahdeal at gmail.com. You can email me there. You can also buy a copy of my first book, which came out in 2016, Secrets of the Combined Astrology, which has all of the 144 charts in it, or you can just buy your own individual chart. If you just go to Amazon, put in your chart, 
let's say you're an Ox Aquarius, uh, you put in your chart Ox Aquarius and you put in Zechariah Adil and it will come up. And you can just buy it from there directly or you can buy these books from my website. Um, and I'm going to make them available on TikTok sometime soon as well, so you can get it from there too eventually. But anyway, for now, um, I will bid you adieu. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.